So my name is Yun Ulsan, uh, I'm Swedish. Uh, I have been with Cram for 16 years. So I started Cram immediately after university where I studied industrial design. And I have now since six years been living in Valencia, Spain. So I'm a director of uh, R&D, responsible for our global R&D, which we have then distributed here in Spain with one center. We have a, a larger center in China, in Germany, uh, a small center in Sweden, uh, and a small center in Holland. Cram is a, a fantastic company, first of all, <laughs> who design, manufacture, and sell uh, professional coffee equipment and coffee solutions. We sell it in uh, the segments of uh, office coffee solutions. We sell to uh, convenience stores, and we sell in Horeca, so hotel, restaurant, and cafes, traditional espresso machines. So uh, I was looking for a, a, a partner in the site because we have a quite large team and it's uh, fantastic engineers and we do great solutions, but we're not so strong in just the industrial design uh, part. So we wanted to, to find a partner, preferably in Spain, who could work very close to together with the center lab here in Valencia. So we started to just look around. And then it was uh, a friend of a friend <laughs> who recommended us to get in contact with uh, NACA. Uh, and we did, I will say, as a, a great match from day one, I think. Uh, very similar personalities. Um, so, yeah, it was good from day one. Uh, we started in 2017. We, uh, we went to Barcelona uh, and met uh, Ben and, and some guys from his team. That's how it started. So when we started, it was, it was a generic request first. Um, it was not related to, to a product or a strategy or anything like that. So we were looking for, for a partner uh, in, in terms of design, industrial design, who could be a good counterpart to uh, the mechanical engineers and test engineers, the product management teams, et cetera, that we had at CREM. So uh, that's what we were looking for. Uh, that's what we found in, in Nakar. Uh, and yeah, I think it has been done very well for us. So we are able to have uh, a very open communication, uh, uh, a very transparent communication. I'm super happy with the collaboration. We, we changed our approach uh, in design. Uh, so we also changed our processes and the way of working. Because back in the days, we we used to define what we wanted to do, what product it was, uh, a coffee machine, for example. Uh, and then we, we started to define the needs, the requirements, specifications for it, uh, and we did the design. So we did a, a fancy bumper sticker uh, or a pretty image, uh, and then we tried to industrialize it and realize it. And what we learned when we started to work with NACA was to really not just doing the specification and the requirements for the functions, the performance, reliability of the machine, but also really work on the customer needs for design, the ergonomics, the, how we can make the machine uh, or the solution, the product to bring more value to the customer that they maybe don't know that they need. We actually were able to take this as design and evolve it together with the engineering that we developed. So Nakar's team actually ended up being a super strong counterpart and partner to my engineering team throughout the project until we launched the product. Because we have always been known for reliable machines. Uh, I mean, they're great products. They do a really good coffee. They last forever. But we have not been so good in the aesthetics, you know, in, in the actual look and feel of it. We want to do the Mini Cooper of traditional espresso machine. So we wanted to bring everything that had been working perfect for us over the years that makes this great product from a function, performance, reliability perspective, the need for uh, customization uh, to give our customers the ability to change the machine to get the machine that they want. That was our scope when we came to, to Baron and the team at Nakai. So I think we did a quite good scope from a commercial perspective, um, which we together were able to realize into a fantastic product.
of course, first of all, is, is reliability and quality, performance, functionality, because that is nothing we can go away from because that's what we are so known for. But after that, the next step was really the, the design in terms of, we wanted to give our honest design, we wanted to have a design which is highly flexible. It was a big change, especially in this field of traditional espresso machine. It was, as I said, we were known for the functions, we were known for the reliability, the performance. But with this machine, we were also able to really take a big leap in the styling, in the design, the ease of installation and uh, in different environments for our customers. So we were able to go from only competing with value customers to actually start to compete with more premium ones and really premium uh, suppliers. An important part was that we, of course, love it. Uh, and we could easily say to anyone that it's a fantastic machine. It's a great design. Buy this one, don't buy that one, because this is so much better. But also with um, the award, like the IF award, for example, we have got the proof from the best designers in the world that it is actually a, a great product. It, it easily can compete with the best machines in the world. So uh, that have helped us also in, in the sales story. And it also gave a lot of energy internally. It made our own sales uh, and, and stakeholders to really believe in it and want to push it and promote it. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Even though we, we launched this machine in the first year ever, it have actually ended up being our most successful product launch ever. So I think uh, it have really helped us uh, through uh, COVID time, and maybe even more important, they really helped our customers through COVID time. So uh, that is very important, and I think it's a, a fantastic uh, result.